ladies and gentlemen, my name is Juhi Pandey, and I'm honored to be joining you all today as your host. On behalf of Hyundai Motor India Limited, I welcome you to a world of new thinking and new possibilities, where today we introduce to you the Neo Fluidic Elantra, a car designed to make a style statement. And now, I would like to invite on stage Mr. Bo Shinso, Managing Director and CEO, Hyundai Motor India, to say a few words. Esteemed members of the media, Hyundai Motor India dealers, associated and value guests, ladies and gentlemen, namaste, and very good morning to you. On behalf of Hyundai Motor India, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this landmark occasion. The debut of the globally successful and North American car of the year, Hyundai Elantra in India. Launched in 2011 in the United States, the new Elantra is yet another bold expression of our brand slogan, New Thinking, New Possibilities. The new Elantra raises the benchmark in all aspects of the automobile in engineering. In a short span, the new Elantra has built a formidable reputation in the market across the world. Designed on the principle of Hyundai's signature fluid sculpture, the new Elantra is one of the finest looking cars in, in its segment. Its modern and attractive styling coupled with its top-of-the-line features have already guarded prestigious awards like in North American Car of the Year and the South African Car of the Year. In addition, it has won premium award for safety and value. After making a mark globally and winning many awards and many hearts, the Hyundai Elantra is all set to enter the Indian market now. <clears throat> Stunning exterior styling, class leading performance, spacious interior and safety features such as ABS, airbags, vehicle stability management, and electronic stabil stability program. The new Elantra will leave all competition far behind and delight our customers. Powered by 1.6 liter diesel and 1.8 liter petrol engines, and the several segment unique features like a front ventilated seat, rear view camera, and silica tires. The new Elantra takes the driving experience to a new level. Coming into the executive segment, the new Elantra completes our product lineup. We are sure that this car will set new benchmarks and also strengthen our brand image in the premium segment. Ladies and gentlemen, Hyundai is very optimistic about its car business in India and has made a big investment for the expansion of our business in the country. As a part of our expansion plan, we have strengthened our dealer and service network. We now have 349 dealerships in 248 cities. The current slowdown has raised the challenges for the Indian automobile industry. However, I firmly believe that the current situation is a temporary phase and India has great potential in the long run. The India market is the priority for Hyundai Motor Company and they have always supported it wholeheartedly with the product, technology, investment and all the know-how required to function in faster evolving environment. We will continue to bring in the best of a product of, and technology. I am sure Hyundai will grow stronger and all new Hyundai Elantra will surely meet and exceed your expectations. On behalf of the entire Hyundai family, I would like to thank our media fans for their support and seek your encouragement in the future as well. Have a nice day. Thank you, Mr. So. Hyundai's fluidic philosophy is a harmony between art, 
design and nature. Hyundai is known to create design paradigms that make a significant style statement. So here is an insight into the Hyundai philosophy. At Hyundai, we think fluidic, leading to new and innovative mobility experiences, bringing to life Hyundai's fluidic design philosophy. Hyundai, new thinking, new possibilities. Hyundai Motor India to take us through the product presentation. Mr. Kapoor. Namaskar. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to all of you. Welcome to this event. I, on behalf of Hyundai Motor India Limited, thank you for your time today. It's a pleasure to see all of you here. Your support and good wishes are extremely crucial for the success of this car in India. The Elantra brings in our signature fluidic styling, high technology, and luxurious features. It's a bold new expression of Hyundai in this age. The car has already tasted success wherever it has been launched in terms of sales volume, in terms of various awards, testimonials it has picked up in various countries. Talks about the absolute superiority of the car in its competing set. And the biggest of them, 2012 North America Car of the Year Award. This is the car we will launch today in the Indian market. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very fortunate to be presenting a product synopsis to you today. It's a matter of honor for me. A lot can be talked about, a lot can be said about this car. But I'll try to keep my interaction very, very limited and talk about some key points because after the event, you can feel the car, you can see the car, you can touch the car. Dynamic and athletic, aggressive, bold, youthful, aerodynamic. Some of the key words which customers in our research have told us when they see this car. It's actually an extension of a brand Hyundai itself. The front portion of the car has our signature hexagonal grille. It has swept back cat eye shaped headlamps. It has wide air dams and it has multi reflector fog lamps. All in all, a commanding and bold presence. The side profile of the Elantra is equally aerodynamic. It's designed with passion in mind. Chrome door handles, 16 inch alloy wheels, side repeaters on ORVMs. All in all, a very youthful, purposeful, aggressive stance. And yes, talk about the rear of the car. Integrated tail lights, which mesh beautifully into the side profile of the car. And a very, very sporty trunk lid design. All in all, front, side, and rear give the car a stature which is very commanding, a presence which is very youthful and aggressive. And we do hope that the drivers of other competition cars, when they're following this, 
have a lot of envy among them. This dynamism, which is reflected in the exteriors of the car, carries on into the interiors as well. The interiors are comfortable, luxurious, stylish, at the same time very, very functional. It displays mastery over design, material, and form. Lentra has two-tone beige interiors. When you sit in the car, in the driver's seat, a supervision cluster, which is very, very functional, very, very pleasing to the eye, and adds to the ambience of the car. The high gloss finish, as well as metal touches here and there, make the car look very appealing to the driver. It's a private oasis of comfort. Ladies and gentlemen, first in segment, ventilated seats for the driver as well as the front passenger. The first in segment, ventilated seat with three speed options, making it very, very comfortable for the driver over long drives. Our recent researches have shown us that the driving, average driving distances among Indian buyers is increasing a lot. Intercity driving is increasing a lot. And we have put in this car various features which signify that change happening in the Indian market. Added to this, for the driver, a 10-way power seat, making him adjust the seats at all possible combinations for a smooth, for a carefree, for a very, very comfortable drive. The interiors are a perfect cool zone. We all understand the vagaries of climate, temperature in this country, hot, cold, rainy. You know. We understand the requirements of our customers, and that's why this is a cool zone. A fully automatic temperature control system, FATC, as well as a very nice, thoughtful touch for the rear passengers, your AC vents on the rear as well. So all the occupants of the car can enjoy the cool zone anytime, anywhere they go. Additionally, we are talking of many practical and simple features which customers definitely want. The front passengers and the rear passengers have an armrest which is sliding, which is extendable. The, firm, the front armrest can even slide by 80 mm. All in all, very functional, very, very practical. You just saw our AV, live brilliant. What this means is that when people drive our cars, they drive a Hyundai car, it means something to their life. Life becomes brilliant. How does it become brilliant? We're talking of a top-of-the-line infotainment system in the new fluidic Elantra. The tuned-in audio system with integrated ports for USB, aux in, and iPod. Additionally, the steering has controls for both audio as well as Bluetooth. We feel that all these features put the driver in a very, very commanding position in terms of what he wants from the car. And yes, I spoke very briefly initially about the recent researches and how the engineers have been very, very thoughtful about designing. You have audio controls for the rear seat passengers also. So even if you're not driving the car, you are being driven around, it does not mean that you don't listen to the music of your choice. So nice little thoughtful touches, but they signify our understanding of the customer who buys this car in the executive segment. And yes, here are some of the features which we launched earlier. One of the features we launched earlier has been spoken very highly. Rear parking assist system. We're also talking of a push button start, smart key with push button start. And yes, my personal favorite, rear parking camera. Some of you who would have used this in the past, in, in the Varna, in the Fluidic Varna, would know how important and how practical it is. 
All of us now, most of us live in multi-rise buildings. We go to park in very, very tight spaces. How important are those six inches for you when you have to park in a very, very tight spaces? You know? So a combination of parking assist as well as real parking camera can help you park the car in very, very tight spaces, safe and comfortable. And of course, there are various other features which combine luxury and technology. First in segment, silica tires. What does it do? Better road grip as well as enhance fuel efficiency. And we'll talk about it more in the future. Heated ORVMs for rainy season as well as winters. All in all, scores a lot of our other competition cars. We have another segment first here, solar gas glass. This is for better ultraviolet protection and efficient cooling. Automatic headlamps, so whenever you are entering a tunnel, suddenly becomes dark, or there are situations which demand, the headlight automatically comes on. And also, for 30 seconds after you are outside, out of your car, the headlights would follow you, they would guide you back. So you're out of the car, but the car still thinks of you. These nice, simple touches make this car what it is worldwide, and we hope that Indian customers will definitely find value in many such features. We've spoken about exterior styling, we've spoken about interior luxuries. Let's come back to the heart of the car. Some of you are auto journalists, some of you ride on auto. Engine is the heart of the car. Performance is what the car counts. It has a very low coefficient of drag at 0.28. Ensures that the wind resistance is minimal and NVH is minimized. The new fluidic Elantra comes with a 1.6 liter diesel powertrain incorporating variable geometry turbocharger VGT, which makes it an ideal combination of power and torque and fuel efficiency. I'm very pleased to share with you that 1.6 liter diesel has a segment best, best in segment mileage of 22.7 kilometers per liter as certified by ARAI. It's an executive segment car, but we also recognize the importance which an Indian customer places on fuel efficiency. We understand what an increase in price for fuel, fuel means to the emotional state of the mind. The 1.8 liter petrol comes with a dual VTVT technology, an ideal combination of power, torque, and fuel efficiency. A power of 149.5 PS and a torque of 18.1 kg meter respectively. And again, comes with a segment based mileage of 16.3 kilometers per liter as certified by ARAI. Ladies and gentlemen, two powertrains, both of them delivering class leading performance and segment best mileages as certified. We're very hopeful and we're very sure that it addresses the emerging need of the Indian customer. They want a complete package, they want luxuries, and they also want a very fuel efficient car. Perfectly matched, perfectly matched and mated to our two powertrains is the gearbox, six-speed manual, six-speed automatic. We also have a superior suspension system, front MacPherson struts and rear coupled torsion beam. It enhances uh, the ride quality over all kinds of road conditions, cities, highways, etc. Safety is an inherent philosophy when we design a car. The Elantra has various passive as well as active safety measures in place. It's a result of continuous research and assimilation of various technologies. Passive, 
safety so that nothing untoward happens and active safety and passive and even if something happens the car should be take, taking care of you and your family. We have safety basics like ABS and EBD and also something very unique hill start assist control. It ensures that on inclines the car does not roll back when you start and on reclines the car does not jump forward. Is it the feature useful? Yes. I regularly every weekend I stay somewhere in Noida and go to Great India Place, the mall. Many of you would also go to malls. The parkings are always in the basement. And we struggle every time to maintain a balance between the clutch and the accelerator. You know. Many of us who stay in multi-rise building who have basement parkings struggle with the same thing. This beautiful feature takes care of all that for anybody driving the car. And yes, the car has intelligent electronics, electronic safety program and VSM, vehicle stability management system, ensures optimum braking performance on all four wheels, as well as directional stability in case of things spinning out of control, in case of asymmetric road conditions. As we say, the situation can go out of control. Your car should never. That's the new fluidic Elantra for you. And of course, a host of other regular safety features. We are talking of front and rear disc brake. We have locking and anti auto door lock and unlock. Six airbags and the shell is made of high tensile steel so that even in the worst time, you're safe. You and your family, your loved one, friends, everybody is safe from impact. God forbid if something may happen. Ladies and gentlemen, the Elantra is available in six beautiful colors. Whether you choose an aggressive, whether you choose a soft tone, it's available to you in six aggressive color. As I told you earlier, I discussed with you, the interior comes with a two-tone beige interiors. Six external colors, two-tone beige interiors. And it's being launched today with seven variants, three for the petrol version, four for the diesel version. Ladies and gentlemen, I have said enough about the car. As I told you in the beginning, a lot can be said, but the time limitations are there. I really enjoy talking to you about this great new car. I've talked various segment first features, the great mileage this car has, the styling, interior, safety, mileage. It's a wholesome package. We're very confident that this should appeal to the Indian customers here. As I discussed earlier, your support, your good wishes, very, very important for us. Our PR team has prepared a few cars over the next few weeks, so many of you would have a chance to test drive these cars, feel for yourself. Immediately after the event, there are two cars which are ready, which are available for touch and feel. Your press kits contain a lot of information about the car. And even after that, if you feel you need to know something about the car any time later, please feel free to connect to us. I'm very sure I have not been able to do a great justice to this car. Lots of effort, many number of years by thousands of engineers have gone into making this car. I don't think I have been able to do even this justice to this car. Ladies and gentlemen, when the passion is involved, the words are not enough. So that's all from my side, but before I leave, the car would like to connect to you directly. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your attention. Thank you.
Kapoor for your insights on the car. And now, to showcase the amalgamation of design and style. Presenting a statement that gives style a new meaning.
put your hands together for the very talented duo of Shantanu and Nikhil for putting up this fabulous show. And now, to unveil what we have all been waiting for, the new definition of style, the new fluid Elantra.
and gentlemen, may I also please request Mr. Rakesh Shivastav to announce the prize for the new Fluidic Elantra. Good afternoon, friends. The beautiful uh, new Fluidic Elantra is available in uh, two power trains, petrol and diesel, in seven variants. Uh, the price for uh, 1.8 petrol, 1.8 petrol uh, is the entry price is 12,51,000 for the S variant. For the SX variant is 13,74,000. While for the 1.6 DSL, the entry variant is at 12,91,000. The S variant at 13,64,000, while the top end SX variant at 14,85,000. Friends, this is an introductory price, and uh, this is all for you. Thank you. May I now request Mr. C. H. Han, Executive Director, Hyundai Motor India Limited, and Mr. Nalin Kapoor to join Mr. Seo and Mr. Shivastav on stage for the Q&A session. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all of you to uh, join us this lovely afternoon uh, for the launch of Elantra. Uh, before we start our uh, Q&A session, I would uh, request you to identify yourself. Please raise your hands in case you have any questions for our management. Uh, our team is available uh, with the mics. They will help you with the mics. Thank you so much. Any questions, please? Hi, uh, this is Leshamba from PTI. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, I'm here, Mr. Rajkumar Leshamba from PTI, please. Yeah. Uh, this is regarding about your diesel plant in Chennai. We heard about uh, some uh, work going on, on the, uh, in the past. There has been an announcement that you would be setting up a diesel plant in Chennai, and then uh, the project has been reviewed. Can you just update us on what exactly is happening on that? Good afternoon. Uh, as far as uh, diesel prices are concerned, uh, diesel uh, plant is concerned, uh, we are still under a study, right? And uh, uh, we'll take a decision uh, in due course of time. Um, in the past, it has been announced that, you know, like uh, you would be setting it up and even the investments was, uh, were also announced. So what is the, uh, uh, what was the reason for you to take a relook at it? Uh, you are aware about the uh, dieselization that is happening, but then uh, we are looking for uh, some consistency in the diesel uh, and the petrol fuel pricing. And as uh, we get a much better clear picture, right, then we shall take a decision on this. Uh, is it because of the uh, lack of clarity in the uh, government policy over the uh, fuel pricing that it's, uh, it's getting delayed? Yes, you said it right. We are looking for a lot of clarity in the... Uh, uh, the government uh, pricing in terms of the uh, parity or disparity between the uh, petrol and diesel prices. Okay, thanks. Yeah, any other questions, please? Uh, this is Sindhu from First Post, um, right here. Um, uh, Elantra was phased out a few years back uh, because presumably it wasn't doing all that well at that point in time. Um, is there, um, is there a learning you've taken from what happened at that time uh, which you might have incorporated in the new product and uh, how do you see the competitive scenario playing out with Cruise and Corolla and others which are really well established? So uh, if you can tell us uh, on both the points, please. Uh, as far as Zalantra is concerned, this is a, uh, the current one that we have just launched is a fifth generation product, right? And uh, the uh, it was, the first one was launched in 1990, to be precise, and... Uh, 1990. 1990, and this is the fifth generation one. This is, in fact, to, uh, this is, this Elantra is totally on a new platform, right? And uh, it is doing very well uh, in the U.S. market, as well as in the Korean market. And currently, in fact, uh, in the, uh, the last Detroit Auto Show, it was rated as the 
uh, the best car right for 2012. So uh, as of uh, today, uh, this product is doing very, very well, right, as far as US and Korea is concerned. And we are hopeful that yes, with the kind of uh, uh, the best in segment features that we have brought into this product, as well as the kind of design philosophy that we have, this will be uh, the top seller in the segment, uh, the executive segment. I, I have a question on your back, uh, Mr. Shrivastava. Yes. On your back. Uh, Mr. Uh, Pankaj yeah. Doval from Times of India. See, uh, this segment I believe is not growing that fast as the segment just below this, uh, if you look at the segment of the Varna and all. So, uh, you know, do you think that this car is going to face the maximum competition from the Varna because in terms of design, the fluidic design is also there and many of the people who would actually want to go for the design of the car may offer the Varna because the top end of the Varna would, uh, you know, be at the price of the starting price of this car. So, uh, the Elantra has been launched in the executive segment yeah. and the market size of this is almost around 2,800 vehicles, yeah. right? And that's the segment size as far as this is concerned. The last major launch in this segment was uh, uh, in 2009. After that, there has been not much of any major launches in this segment. In fact, uh, this segment has been largely very sluggish, but with the launch of Elantra, this segment is going to see a lot of enthusiasm and, uh, right, and a different trend altogether. Yeah. Uh, the best in features, right, and segment in features definitely are going to create a different scenario. And we believe that, okay, this will be one of the top sellers in this segment. Could you give me some idea about the numbers that you're looking at since you're saying that this is going to add uh, some kind of face to the segment? We are, we are largely a domestic focus company, yeah. right? And uh, as far as this is concerned, whatever the market demands, we shall produce and meet the customer requirements. But yes, we aspire to be the top seller in this segment. Uh, sir, on your, at your back again, this side, uh, I'm Amrit from Mint. I yes, have a Amrit. question to uh, Mr. Shio. Uh, sir, uh, uh, now with this car, you have a complete spread in the Indian car market. You are present across all the segments. Last year, you launched Eon in the mini car segment. But uh, uh, somehow there is, uh, there is a, uh, we have noticed that there's the market share of the company has stagnated uh, in the last couple of years, around 20%. So do you have a figure in mind from here where do you want to go with a complete spread right now? Can I answer? Right. Uh, Amit, Amrit, 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 right? Amrit, uh, the current uh, market conditions are very, very challenging with the current kind of macroeconomic conditions with the high interest rates, uh, the high inflation that we have, uh, the strong dieselization that is happening because of the disparity between the petrol and fuel prices, right? And uh, under, and the slow, G, uh, or the low GDP growth rate that you can call it between five to six percent, which is currently, projected, right? Under these challenging conditions, Hyundai has been able to achieve a volume of 2,34,942 units. Uh, this volume actually comes in, when I said the growth in these kind of conditions is very, very challenging, we have grown on Jan to July last year base of 10%, right? With a market share of almost around 19%. And uh, this has been much better than the industry. And uh, we hope to maintain and improve on our uh, volume growth as well as on market share till the year end. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Do we have any other questions, please? Yeah, and also I think the, we, our company, I think now uh, concentrate on the, the, instead of, for example, the figures and market share, we are trying to our best to uh, be uh, the brand, the love by Indian customer, that's our main factors. So here on your stage, sir. Straight on the left. Chanchal, here. Okay, Mr. Chanchal. Sir, you have been launching big cars, but Hyundai is largely considered a small car maker in India. There is not a single product which has achieved success from Hyundai in the big car segment. Santa Fe as a SUV is doing good, but it's nowhere near the Fortuna or any other in its class. I'm just trying to understand, so what is the strategy 
with the new launch, Hyundai aims to become a serious segment leader or serious challenger in the big car market because you don't have that brand equity in luxury or executive segment. Uh, Chanchal, Chanchal, Hyundai has been a very, very serious player in the Indian market. In whichever segment we have operated largely, we have tried to take a very, very strong position, whether it is the mini segment or the compact segment or as we go upwards around. Worldwide, Hyundai is the fifth largest and its presence ranges right from the entry down upwards towards the Equus, etc., and Genesis. And most of the cars have been actually appreciated for their looks, for the kind of features, and for the kind of premiumness that they bring in, along with the kind of aspiration levels. Uh, even in India, right, uh, whichever segments we have uh, made an entry, we have largely tried to improve our position, and in many, many segments, we are into domination, do, dominant position. For example, in Verna, today, the segment that we operate, we are largely the market leader. Yes, we are serious about the premium segment. We are a modern and premium uh, car company. We shall definitely like to strengthen our product portfolio. And to do this, uh, we made an entry in Santa Fe. Even in Sonata, uh, currently we have the segment that we operate, we have 25% market share just in three months. So hopefully with this, we'll uh, enhance our presence and make it more and more stronger with a complete product line, starting from the Eon and going all the way, right, with Verna, the Elantra, the Sonata, and Santa Fe. That's our aspiration, and that is what we are working on. And so is there any more launches from Hyundai for in 2012? And what are the, you have said that you have a 10% growth in sales. Are you looking at similar growth for the rest of the year? I just want to update on that. Well, uh, within this year, we have already launched two products, right? And uh, the Sonata and as well as the Elantra. And this is just the new baby, just born today, right? Let's work on this, improve our positions. And as launches comes, comes over, we'll definitely invite you and you'll be one of the first people to know about it. It's a sales target. Uh, well, sales, gentlemen, sales uh, target. Yeah. yeah, please, Chanchal, go ahead. So it's a sales target, so can I get an update? You claim that you have a 10% growth. For the rest of the 12, 2012, what kind of growth you are looking at? Uh, as I said, uh, these are very, very challenging times, and uh, uh, we are taking month by month, right? And as it goes by, we'll definitely target uh, volume growth as well as an increase in market share. That's what his aspiration is. And I think uh, as far as uh, Elantra is concerned, this will definitely add to our volumes and also the image of the company and help us in market share. Thank you. Uh, well, gentlemen, we have two more questions left, please. How many bookings have you got for this car? Uh, up till now, uh, in fact, uh, we opened up a pre-booking for this uh, car. And uh, uh, it was such a delight, right, to see that uh, uh, with the customers, the confidence that they had on this product, that it, without knowing the price, without having the touch and feel of the car, we already had more than 750 bookings. And with the prices being known, with such an introductory price that we offered, and when they can touch and feel the car, this is only going to rise, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I just wanted to get an update on your exports. Uh, last month, it, it grew by about just about 5.1%. <coughs> and with the uh, European market continuing to be sluggish as it is. So uh, what's the outlook for the year? Yes, uh, even though I think that there is some the, the down in US, uh, European market, but uh, for our company, I think the, our export volume is uh, continuously uh, the increasing now. So uh, this year we are targeting, I think, the more than last year. So still, we, we, I think the, we are now focusing on uh, increasing our export volume from India. Uh, okay. Uh, will that come from the European market or are you... Uh, no, no, no. We are now expecting, uh, exporting the, our vehicle to all over the world market, uh, totally 128 countries. Last year, the volume was around 2.42 lakhs. And... Uh, Largely, it was 42% uh, was to the European uh, Union, that is the, that particular market. Although we also export to the other countries, almost our exporters to almost, as director said, more than 120 countries. 
and a question on the uh, your uh, action model so uh, any plans for a refurbishment of that particular model or are you going to uh, phase it out uh, accent has been there and it's been a very very strong product for us right and uh, we are currently doing almost around uh, uh, 400 plus units right and uh, uh, we are satisfied with its performance yes uh, i think we have to uh, close the session now uh, uh, really thank you all and uh, I request you to uh, address your questions for post this Q&A session to Mr. Uh, Shrivastava and Mr. Nalin Kapoor are there. They will be uh, available for, your, for our discussion. Thank you very much, all of you, once again. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. So, Mr. Shrivastava, Mr. Han, and Mr. Kapoor. On behalf of Hyundai, I would like to thank each and every one of you present here today for being a part of this occasion. Kindly join us for lunch at the other end of the hall. This is Juhi Pandey signing off. Thank you and have a great day.